two women were the, the highlights of the socials for you? Right, because you know, one, of course, in a significant reason, and the other, John, of course, from the dating perspective, Helen and I have gone on multiple dates. She's a very charming lady, and we've always had fun. Um, that was kind of a, it was a, it was an uncomfortable situation, but I wouldn't really call it um, and that much of a negative in that I've never had this happen before where I'd be out on a dance floor dancing and a lady that I danced with named Helena, a very sweet, very charming lady, every time I started dancing with somebody else, she'd come out and say, Carrie, aren't you going to dance with me again? And I'm talking about these ladies, both of them, all of them were absolutely gorgeous. That doesn't happen at all in the States. It never has happened to me, not in high school or any other time. So okay. it's quite exquisite. All there for one purpose, to find that special man. And as hard as it is to believe, if seeing is believing, then go and see. And stop emailing, stop trying to call, save up that money, you know, for a deposit and just go and see for yourself. Just using one or two words, okay? Describe your experience at the first social. Unbelievable. What makes a uh, group tour different versus traveling on your own? Well, the group tour, in my opinion, a little bit better option, especially if it's your first time in Ukraine or Philippines or Latin America, no matter where you go. Uh, first of all, because you meet more people. So with individual tour, you have a limit on the num uh, number of introductions that you're going to have. So 20, 30, whatever it is you're doing, which is a lot too, don't get me wrong. Social is just, you know, basically like speed dating event. So you see like 200 people right away. And of course, not all those 200 people will be in your age group. Not everybody you'll be physically attracted to. So this 200 uh, people, first of all, you use your interpreter to help you pre-screen people. So let's imagine you spot 10, 15 girls that you visually like, because we don't know who, you know, who they are, will they like you or not. So visually, you like 10, 15 people. Then you send your interpreter to just have a quick talk with them and just pre-screen, you know, maybe get the age because if you're looking for whatever it is your age you're looking for, you know, so she can go pre-screen them what age, whether they have kids or whatever other deal breakers you might have. She can do pre-screen and save you time. And if they match what, uh, you know, ideal criteria you have in mind, you come over, you talk, exchange phone numbers, you talk for 10, 15 minutes and carry on and go talk to another one. Nobody will take offense. You can always go on double dates, you can do things together and you know, what if you and your buddy get engaged to, you know, in the near future, you know, your fiancés can start talking to each other, they will make friends, they'll make connections later on down the road when everybody gets married, you know, you can stay in touch as couples because you will, you know, those girls will help each other to integrate and, you know, here in the United States and they will have their own support group, so, which is really helpful. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at... If you enjoyed this video or want more information, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel.